Hey folks, I'm down here at the public beach. I'm keeping my voice low because there's other people on the beach. Um, I figured I'd come down here before the fog burnt off and it gets crowded. I just came across my first little find and uh, not as sure exactly. Oh, I think I know what it is. It looks like a bottle cap now. Some more of that, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's what it is, Bazinga. All right, well, it was down there pretty deep, um, but it was picking it up. All right, uh, I'll get back to you on the next one. Hey, folks, uh, I moved over to this little, little area. It looks like some uh, kids lined up some rocks and stuff, but they dug out a big area, which saves me a lot of digging. But I just came across a nice little tone here, and I'm not sure what that says. Let's get into the sunlight. Steel City. Yeah, it might just be a planchard. Uh, yeah, I think it's a Steel City. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that's just a planchard that might have come off from some sort of um, manufacturing you know, type of uh, like uh, electrical boxes or something. I'm not sure. Looks like it though. All right, folks. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to get real hot today. Um, so get out here while we can, while there's some shade and different spots and stuff, and uh, we'll work around. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Hey, folks. Uh, yeah, I just uh, came across a nice little surface find, and uh, let me put the detector down here. But looks like we have ourselves a nice little knife. That's a good little find. Rinse this off here. Yeah. Oh yeah, still opens. Oh, yeah, now I gotta get the sand out of it. <laughs> Not gonna close back up. Well, yeah. all right. Well, I'm gonna work down in along these banks. I don't know if you guys remember the rock I showed you on my wall there that had the garnet in it. it just tucked right up into those roots there, underneath those trees. So, yeah, a lot of stuff gets washed up in here, and not too many people stroll over here, so uh, we'll check it out. All right, catch you on the next one. Hey, folks. Yeah, just over along this bank, like I said, where the shore washes up and stuff, and uh, I had just pulled a rosy out of here, right over in here, and I was, I retoned the tone, uh, hole there, and I pulled out this. Looks like we got ourselves, and I don't have my reading glasses, folks, so I'm not going to be able to give you a date right yet. Maybe you guys can tell. Oh, nice little mercury. Cool. Yeah, I'm just going to keep washing, uh, working down in through these areas up into the rocks. Because uh, sometimes it will get up, and the water will get up into these rocks here. Uh, but, yeah, we'll just keep looking around. Cool piece of silver. Catch you on the next one. Hey folks, yeah, I just dug a penny up right over there, and I'm trying to get it out. I can see uh, Lincoln on that side. I'm not sure if that's, that's going to be a memorial or, or wheat. I'm not sure. It's pretty worn, though. Um, when I get that back to the house there, I'll try to get some of that corrosion off and see, uh, see what we got. All right, folks, catch you on the next one. Hey folks, yeah, um... The beach at uh, the public beach was starting to get a little crowded. Um, I knew people were going to start showing up there. I have to get down there earlier. Um, but I'm back down to the river here, and this is a spot that I've only been in once. Last year I came down through here, and the river was up quite a lot, so I couldn't even get in the water really. Um, I kind of walked along that bank all the way down through up to the big island. Um, so I really didn't get much for hunting in here. I did find a bell around that corner over there. So, uh, yeah, right now it's looking fairly shallow, so I'm going to get in here and see what we can find. All right, I'll catch you guys on the first find. Hey, folks, yeah, I just talked to you like a matter of seconds ago, and I was just looking around while I was walking down here, and like I said, you guys got to keep your eyes open. Oh, what do we got under here? Uh, yeah. Looks like we got ourselves a Spider-Man Pez dispenser. That's cool. Not sure how old it is, but put it in the bag. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Hey, folks. I just came on a nice signal here. This is uh, shooting right up at 90, 91. 
and take you underwater. I can see part of it here, but we're going to dig it out together. Might just be a copper pipe or something. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Oh well. Alright, catch you on the next one. Hey folks, yeah, I'm moving up the river here on the beds here, and I just came across a nice uh, solid 82 sound. And it looks like we have ourselves a nice uh, pewter cover. Oh. I'll have to look at it later with a magnifying glass and see if there's any markings. Usually the markings will be right on the center and back, in the back there. Well, it's in pretty good condition for its travels down through the river. Uh, yeah, beautiful day. She's going to get, keep getting warm though. Um, but I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey folks, yeah, I just found my next little find. Uh, I found that cover right over there. And I just had a little tone right here. And looks like we got ourselves another fishing lure to add to the collection. Alright, cool. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll get you guys back on. Hey folks, just uh, dug up my next little find here. And uh, looks like we have the whole top of uh, a lantern. That's a pretty cool piece. Looks like an old. Uh, Honeycomb, bees, bees nest. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that in my big backpack, and uh, we'll keep moseying down the river. All right, catch you on the next one. Hey folks, I just wanted to show you one of the colorful uh, crawdads that we have here in the river. This is a good size one too. Stay tuned down and let you check them out. big enough to eat. All right, folks, I'm going to keep moving on. Hey, folks, yeah, just uh, taking a break here. Got the feet down in the water. The water's like bath water right now, but it's cool enough that you can still feel it through uh, the waders. So it kind of keeps your, your temperature down a little bit. Um, and right as soon as I came around this bend here, heading up this way, um, I could feel the breeze coming down this river. Around there, it was just dead air. Uh, sweat, sweat, sweat. But I don't know. I found that uh, that pewter cover, a few fishing lures, some junk. Um, but yeah, shortly here, I'm gonna start moving back with the current and work back up behind me for a little bit up that way. And it's pretty shallow up and through here. Um, see if anything was all uh, deposited and. Uh, on the other side of this knoll here, there's a big field that goes all the way down over there. Uh, back in the late 1800s, they had um, military encampments there for three years. I'd love to be able to get onto that property, but um, I'm not sure if the owner would allow anybody. He's up there haying right now. I was hoping to catch him near the road. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, but those uh, soldiers that were up there, I'm sure they came down here in the water. Um, we found some pewter down through here. We found bells. Uh, Richie and Kelly's been down through here. It's kind of quiet area, but um, you know there are things that are in here. But all right, folks. Well, I'm gonna finish taking my break here, and then um, I'll get back to you if I find anything else. All right, cool. Hey guys, I just finished up my break here, and I just came on my first uh, well decent signal. I'll take you into water, and we'll check it out. I'll have to see if I can clean that up and uh, maybe get the uh, caliber off of that. Yes, I'm not sure. Anybody knows? Uh, yeah, throw it in the comments, please. All right, folks. Um, yeah, like I said, these military encampments were right along this river, so. Could be anything military in here or just uh, you know, normal stuff that's washed down from in town. Who knows? But, alright, catch you on the next one. Hey folks, and yeah, on my next little find here, and uh, well, it's clear enough, you can probably see right down through the water there. Looks like we got ourselves a nice little buckle. Yeah, she's a little chipped up, but yeah, cool either way. 
All right, folks, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep working downstream back around that bend and probably head back up to the car. Uh, and my back is uh, starting to tell me, uh, slow down or get off the river. So, um, all right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey, folks, just came on my next find here. I'm going to show you the VDIs on the simplex. Nice, nice cool little relic. All right, folks. Yeah, like I said, I'm heading back down the shore here, so uh, I'm gonna be scanning everything as I go, and uh, if I come across anything, I'll get you guys back on. All right, folks. I just came on my next little find here, and it was kind of a scratchy signal, but uh, you guys can see it right here. Looks like we have ourselves uh, part of a teapot. Awesome, nice pewter piece. Yeah, she got a little dinged up there. I might be able to bend that out to make it look right. But, yeah, if I'm finding this pewter on the edge of this river here, and there's definitely pewter in there, um, a lot of times this heavier stuff will get caught in the river. Um, lighter stuff moved up here, but with the, you know, the rapids that come down here, the torrent uh, waters at times there, it can push stuff all over the place. But, oh, that's a cool little piece. Two pieces of pewter and uh, some silver today and some other little relics. I'm happy. All right, I'm going to keep working back. I'm going to kind of work on this shore here and just uh, see if anything else was deposited. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, hey, folks, I'm almost back up to the bend where I walk up through the woods here. And I just got myself a little tone. And, uh, oh, all right, my back aching. <laughs> Yeah, I think it says Ford, made in the USA. I don't know if it was maybe an old watch fob or something. Yeah, cool nonetheless. All right, folks, I'm just going to keep working back, and uh, after I get in the car, I'm probably going to head home and uh, chillax for the rest of the day. All right, folks, I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Folks, uh, my car's right up over the banks there, but I was just metal detecting here, and I came across another little pie. And it looks like we might have a part of a lantern. Uh, a little screw part there. Uh, let's see if I can go back in that hole. Yeah, something like that. I might be able to get a date off it. I'm not sure. But all right, folks, I'm just going to metal detect this a little bit more, and then I'm heading out. All right, guys. Catch you after.